to park tomorrow to shoot some footage, and this car rubs with three people. Like you can't really. It rubs with two. Yeah, it rubs with two people. Rubs with one person. So we're gonna raise it an inch, and I'm just gonna string line it as always. And we've done it so many times that it like it's perfect. <laughs> we did Megan's car, and she took it to an alignment shop and said the rear toe was spot on and the front was like almost perfect. So whatever, we're gonna do that. Saves us money. And another like weird little thing I found out today, I mean, you would figure it out if it was with, happening with your car, but her EFI relay won't stop clicking with the key off. And uh, these cars only prime, they don't like prime the fuel pump with the key on. They literally just, they might, but I don't think they do. I haven't really looked into it. Um, but there, it's like a, not a, it's a returnless system. And so like when you key it, it's fine. But with the key out, it just, uh, opens and closes the EFI relay because there's um, her ignition switch. There's two pieces, and one of them always goes bad, and so it's just making it freak out. And it's just sitting there, open, close, open, close, open, close. So we're gonna look into that today. But that's your problem. You gotta replace uh, your ignition switch if this is happening. And I looked it up, and it's really common. So we're gonna do that. I'm talking a lot. We're gonna get this low ass car on the new motor mounts look amazing they're oh yeah who got you those my husband who got you those he's jealous of the parts that they got you you um, can't see him no, right, there. right there shout out excessive manufacturing you guys are rad her motor no longer moves or engine it's completely flat and like my pickup my turbo tacoma has like similar style motor mounts it rattles like a mofo like race car rattles. It feels like you're in a track car all the time. This, like the Jay-Z's are so smooth. You throw all these in and I was looking at everyone's like, it rattles really bad. Not like for these specific ones, but just poly. And it's like, it's got to get used to it. And like we got in it, I'm like, it doesn't, <laughs> it's yeah, better than it was not. stock. <laughs> but like her motor mounts were in like literally like, mine were in two You'll pieces see it. when we I took them the out. Last, remember we did the video. Yeah, hers were literally sitting like not where they break in two where it like separates hers were gone so it's just the top sitting on the <laughs> like the subframe and the bolts that were like in from the bottom and her motor was moving everywhere and so for her birthday i got her those and excessive trans mounts and we did a throttle lock which is like probably the best twenty dollars we've ever spent because it did everything that i put a whole different throttle body on my car for uh and it took me like 20 minutes to install so and let's put this thing in winter mode. These are the fronts after we slammed her car and I aligned it. They are dead even. This one, the outside's actually shaved because it's touching it's your rubbing. fenders. Yeah. But, uh, I mean, you can hate all you want on a string alignment, but there's like. That's like literally. Tiny, tiny bit of camber where there's no teller. If there's teller, it'd be like up to here. Yeah. I'm gonna get some lube. You don't wanna. Like you can do it dry, like we do it all the time, but. Do all that Rome road grime and threads and stuff, and it just jams it up, and you gotta. Ugh, yeah, which and is it not sucks. Fun. And these coils already are trashed, blown, everything, and it, they're already not fun. Yeah. We're doing the broke kid drift alignment. Yeah. This is how you do it. Um, for those that don't know, this is the easiest way. So, you're setting your ride height, and you just get yourself a little baby tape measure, or whatever you have, and you go from any point up here to down here. You measure right so I always go just I always have from the plastic collar where the coil with the spring sits on right in between it to right at the bottom and then you, like you kind of get your own way it, like if you do it your own way and you do it the same every time you get better and more accurate so my stuff's like perfectly I've had this stuff on like real alignment wax and it's like perfect so I measure from right here to where this car sits 
If you were to bend it down and that was your way of doing it, it could be five. If you were going to go straight, it's four and... Even when you bend it down, three quarters. It's like four and three quarters. I always bend it down though. It's, it's just, four and three quarters. It's five. Oh, it is four and three quarters. It's Congratulations. Four and three quarters. Yep. So four and three quarters, four and three quarters. The back coils are different, so they'll be a, a little different. But uh, so you'd set your desired ride height. So if it's four and three quarters and you want to go an inch lower, you go to three and three quarters here to here. And then you lock it in and you try and get as close as you can. Um, that's all you can do. If you wanted to go higher, you can go five and three quarters. I mean, that's, that's how you do it. When you get really into the low stancy stuff, you start going like eighths of an inch, like fractions. But we don't really need to worry about that. We're just going to raise it an inch. So if we're four and three quarters, we're going to go to five and three quarters. So um, here, let's come around and measure the other one. Just kind of get it there. All right. And it's four and three quarters. It's within one millimeter or so. Can you see that on a car? No. Does it matter? No. So you're going to set your ride height um, to wherever you want it. And then ideally, I don't have cast arms that are adjustable. I know that you could figure out how to adjust them. There's probably funny ways or just by counting the threads of how much caster you like. We don't have adjustable caster arms right now, so you do uh, caster camber toe because especially on this uh, style of suspension, when you raise or lift the car, it all works off each other, right? All the arms do. So if you were to uh, raise it, if I'm thinking right, I haven't done this in a hot minute, it would toe in. And if you're going to lower it, the suspension starts doing this. And so it's connected to these arms, so it's going to tow it out. So since we're raising it, it's going to lift it and it's going to tow in. So now you're going to have to change your tow, um, which I'll also show you how to do. So now back to what we were doing. So we want to raise this car a whole inch so it doesn't rub and destroy her tires because they're bad. So we are at four and three quarters. So now we're going to go all the way to five and three quarters. Um, now the reason we're raising the car is considering the fact that my tire is about to cord and we're driving to park. It's <laughs> not alignment necessarily. Just um, It's just, it's, it's so low. Yeah, here, check it out. This is like gnarly low. And Kiara dailies this car. She's an OG wife. No, it is that's so not the low. bad one. Yeah, this oh. is the bad one. That this is all from rubbing on the inside of the quarter panel. These clear. That's the outside of the wheel. These just clear just fine. The car is actually not even as slammed as it can be. I don't think. I think they're half inch higher, just so it had some travel. That's literally just from rubbing on the quarter panel. This is gonna delam, separate, and throw itself everywhere very soon, which is terrifying. One of the things I really like to do is they say you shouldn't tighten your coilovers too tight and I now agree with that I used to not trust it and I have like really really nice BC extreme lows with like Swiss springs and all like all like good stuff um, and I got sick of having to like when I'm doing like a test and tune day on my car raise it and lower it all the time when I would just crank it like I would <laughs> I'd literally like crank it down as tight as I could and as you go on it wouldn't get looser it would get tighter and so you bust your knuckles trying to break the collar loose to adjust the coil. So pro tip, get yourself a nice chisel and a hammer. And people can say it can bend the collar and all that crap. It's not gonna. Don't kill it. And you get stuff in them and they get seized. So that doesn't help either. So now we're gonna get our spanner wrenches. Um, you can use either size. Personally, I use this top one because it's ha it happens um, sometimes if you adjust them a lot and they're loose. We have tight clothes because we drift and you get grime and shit in there and we tighten them pretty good. Um, if you loosen this, not that it makes the biggest difference because you catch yourself, but you can break this collar loose and mess up the preload on the spring. And if you mess that up, it can kind of screw with like the dampening and like the bat, like, I don't know, how what they design them for. People do it, but um, I wouldn't. Let's get the biggest spanner wrench. I feel like this is the right size. 
and we're gonna just start unscrewing this puppy. Also, always lube them. I don't know if we videoed that. Always lube your damn coilovers. Um, another good thing is this collar. Kind of leave it where it was if you can, because that's gonna give you a good, you're not gonna have to stop and check 300 million times. You're gonna have to stop and check twice. Once that's about an inch up, just, and if you move them and you take care of your coilovers, you can even, like I take a wire brush on my like super, super drift car. <laughs> And I wire brush all this out and blow it out with air and stuff because it's, you don't want that crap in your threads. They get tight and it makes it miserable to adjust. So we're going up. Lefty loosey, ready tighty. <laughs> adjusting it as you Two can see later yeah as you can see I just bumped this up a little bit from here so now if you actually look it's kind of like cheater from the bottom of there to the top of there it's exactly one inch can you see that no, we're gonna camera quality. it's sick so one to two right and so now speaking of which we got a new camera to yeah. let us know the quality for you guys yep. always try like if you're going evens or odds I always try and go here to here so it's like Generally close. Five and three quarters. Push tight. Alright, so now you're just gonna lower that bad bitty back down. That seems like the longest inch ever. Maybe I lied to you when we first started dating. <laughs> Never knew a ten was a three. So, I always just kind of, you know, get tight, don't hit your thread, doesn't want to go anymore, so just give it a little more, there you go, it's not coming loose, that's way tighter than you could have got it with your hand, and not, my knuckles feel pretty good, so, uh, this side's done, camber adjustment, so now, Repeat that on the other side, match it. The rear, if you want it back an inch, do the same thing, match it. And then we're gonna get to toe. I was actually gonna say, we got a bunch of new stickers that are pretty cool. Yeah, they're sick. The Toby Drinker one's new. The Patch Style ones are new. Those ones are pretty cool. The Alien. See? So I hear it's gonna be stormy weather. It's nice That's outside, isn't it? Tomorrow. Get your guy, guys, get yourself a woman like this. Look at this. Hey. You cute even though you mean. So after that, we're gonna do the rear, get it all set. Um, make sure the camber is even, it should be even. And then I'm gonna do a, show you how to do a string alignment on the toe. I'll probably adjust that and have Kiara hold the string tension for me. It just makes it easier. <coughs> um, but um, like anything with enough practice you can get really good on it at it on your own so yeah last time we tied it to the bumper yep or a jack handle or jack handle as long as it it's straight tight. and stays tight and not too tight which will show you how to master be perfect here. shout out to yeah. old officer Dan on drift week for the GK Tech Luggy Duggy boys. These things are sick and they don't mess your wheel up and you need a smaller socket and they're well, steel. Like and yeah, and these are really old and have many drift events on them. I used to use <laughs> cheap eBay aluminum lugs and they were like literally stripped by the time I took them off, like about to throw a wheel. And then we came across these boys for like 40 bucks or something and they're super high quality uh they come in dope colors fit right in there they're not chinsy like yeah shipping super quick but you 
Shout out to you, Officer Dan, Mr. Dan Brockett. You've got your Level app. You can get an app. Um, I think some of the iPhones just come with it, right? So you put it you want to show as close to the center of the wheel as you can, the way I've always done it, and the way most people I feel like do it. You put it right flat with the hub because that's where, that's the angle of the wheel, right? So this is sitting at negative four degrees of camber, right? If I wanted to pull camber out, you could just, this one has adjustable control arms, you have to buy these. Um, if you're drifting an IS300 and you don't have hella money, get Godspeed arms. Um, I've heard from a lot of reputable people <laughs> that Megan is literally Godspeed painted blue. And I mean, if you hit a curb, it doesn't matter. Sorry for my language. You're gonna crack your arms anyways. Get the cheapest ones you can. These have adjustable ball joints and they're like 200 bucks front, 200 bucks rear, something like that. So you would just come and you'd adjust your camber out, right? And so since we can't do caster, we're just gonna set the camber um, and we're raising it. And so it's not super flush. You'd literally just set your camber to where you don't rub here anymore. If you're just slamming it and like whatever you wanna do, if you're drifting, wherever it feels good and wherever it doesn't hit this. We're not gonna worry about the camber. It's already set, it's already even from many times. So we're just gonna do the toe, but I'm just, I'm showing you for reference. And this isn't spot on, but if you were to do it, it'd be four or five degrees, right? It's, they should have like 32 gates on it. So, so uh, coilovers are all set. We're just putting the uh, wheels on. You're gonna, you can put like two or three lugs on there to get them flat on the hub where they're gonna sit. So uh, the car's uh, ride height is set. The camber is set. Um, we're just going to leave it. It's fine. I said it really good last time. Um, so now what you're going to want to do is uh, jack your car up. And you're going to want to get yourself a string. Any kind of string works, really. And what you're going to want to do is uh, most cars like have like a whip here or something around. So if you're going to do the front wheels, we're going to do the back first, babe. All right, to make this simpler for you guys, um, it's really hard with the white string and the white wheels, so we'll probably do it. We're gonna do this a few times on the channel. You'll get the gist of it. This is a great way to track line it or just something. So we got it stretched around, whole other side, comes around. You wanna pull it tight? There you go. Kinda hold it. Doesn't really matter on this side. Oh, gotta get a good string holder, whether it be your wife or um, a jack handle and I'm not sure which one is uh, we're gonna have a competition here soon okay so to simplify it go in the middle of the hub you want it to be flat and if you want your uh, toe in you can leave it at flat that'll be about a quarter inch toe in um, if you want it perfectly level when you set it on the ground because when this goes up It's going to toe in just remember that you want to set it about a quarter inch toe out and then it's going to come back to flat so we're here Right and you barely touch this uh, Yeah, and we're towed in there's a, there's a quarter inch gap from the string to the wheel, so it's at least a quarter inch towed in so Towed in. So I'm going to go under the car. We could have lifted it, but it's not really relevant. If you have adjustable tow arms or whatever, and all you're going to do is grab that arm and you're going to adjust. Yeah, hold there. It dips in on the wheel right there too, which is bad. So we should probably move it. There we go. Kind of showed this gap. So see, there's like a finger gap between string and here. I think you get that? <clears throat> You're going to adjust your toe out, right? 
until it is touching that string. Is it touching both evenly? No. No? Mm-mm. You need to touch the front more. Right there. That's, if you look, the wheel is straight with the car. Yeah. Right? right? So now, this will get you close enough if you don't want to like guess and have it be a slight bit off on either side. Once you get good, you can kind of just figure out how to do it evenly by feel, but with anything, uh, practice makes perfect. This is spot on toe. Your tires are not going to kill themselves. So if you go on a 5,000 mile road trip, you might have some toe wear, but this is going to be okay. Um, but keep in mind that this is going to actually kick out when we lower it. Um, I've mentioned that a few times, just trying to get that in your head because it's going to mess with you a little bit. Why, why do I have toe in? So you actually want a little bit of toe out. So, that's too much. No, that's, oh, perfect. So there's an eighth inch toe out, right? There's like half a finger width toe out. Yeah, perfect. So now when it compresses, it's going to toe in that little bit and it'll be perfectly straight. So now we're going to match it on the other side and toe set for the rear. But, and then tighten everything. Yeah, but we're going to tighten everything before we do that because if we don't, we forget. we're going to have a bad time. And if you have um, adjustable arms and you move them quite often, check them. If you're going to go drifting, always check them because they come loose like every time. But this is your tail arm. Um, from the factory, these come with cam lock and you tilt it one way or the other and you get about a degree and a half to two degrees. Um, on my car, I'm still stock arms and if you lower your car a couple inches, you can get like five degrees camber because my car on an alignment rack is five degrees static because negative, because that's as much as I could get positive and make it even. <laughs> so you're gonna wanna get these. These are your best friend when you lower your car. You're just gonna have a bad time. So it makes the biggest difference in drifting. So you're going to get your lock nuts tight, you're going to hold the damn thing. These are just four inches of the best. I'd get a set because it saves you a lot of hassle of track, but a good set of sharp, like nice blue point, like, I don't know, just some wrenches to break them and tighten them are kind of nice because they're not going to slip off and you're not going to punch a control arm because that sucks yeah so that's how you do it yep and just make sure when you're tightening them that it doesn't spin obviously this isn't perfect but this is the best way to do it this is you can get toe plates and that works too she was taking a piss so I, I just did the fronts myself that's how like track this is I guess and these were uh, towed in quite a bit because like I said, when you raise it, it's gonna tow the front in, it's gonna tow the back out. So ran it, got it straight, lip to lip. Um, you do it on like something like this, so you're not on the spoke. And then for the front, because when the front sits down, it's going to tow out, because it's compressing, you tow it in an eighth of an inch on each side, because what that's gonna do is guarantee that you're not gonna be super towed out like this because when I first started there every car was like super towed out which drives fine you get a little tow wear like on drift cars it doesn't really matter it's better for it when you're driving on the street and stuff every car is different you're gonna find the perfect combo on these it's a quarter inch eighth inch to a quarter inch of uh, toe in on the front to get them perfect uh, straight and the rear is an eighth inch out so that it sits straight when you set it on the ground. So we're gonna set it on the ground now. We just raised it. Camber's what it is. Um, it's all set, it's all even. And it's toe line. So we're gonna see if this bad boy drives straight and sits straight. If you mess your car up, you're doing a custom tune and you just wanna see how toe affects the driving characteristics of your car, get a friend to string align it. Jack your car up, get a, use jack stands if you have them. Uh, we don't typically. <laughs> But uh, yeah, and just go for it. It's really simple. You're gonna get the feel for it really quick, and 
save you a lot of time and save you a hundred bucks every time. It's so ugly. The backs are perfect. I hate it. I, it's not I that hate bad. it. It's not that bad. I hate it. It's a lot better than it was. I hate it. Not like it this. It needs to be slammed. That's going to drive good, though. It needs to be slammed. You know, animal style used to be all about having low cars, and I don't got low cars no more. It needs to be slammed. Race car. It's so ugly. It doesn't look bad, though. It does look bad. I can fit a fist under here. That's. I used to not be able to fit my hand there. Make sure to, when you're doing this, you want your steering wheel. Or lucky, because we have the marker. But just make sure it's straight, like, where you want it yeah. when you drive. Alignment, alignment shops. Um, in They'd school, wait it, right? No, they, they have, um, it's a spring thing. And you put it on your floorboard or your seat, and it's got hooks in it. You set the yeah. steering wheel, and it holds it. So if you have an extra friend that's not going to sit on their just phone the whole time, it. have them hold it. Yeah, but we don't, so we, we don't, just put it there. Set it. Um, this, with the weight off, isn't the best way, but it, it's a pain in the ass to jack each individual wheel up. Like, you might as well just toe align it, save yourself time at that point with uh, toe plates. But if you look here, it's probably really hard to tell unless you're here. That is perfectly straight. It could be one sixteenth of an inch to an eighth of an inch in or out, but that's not gonna wear the toe on your tires dramatically. Whereas if you lowered it and raised it and it was a quarter plus in or out, you're gonna go through your tires really, really fast. Straight. This is probably dead. That's just driven a long time. Well, it is gonna because it's an inch higher, like a, a you know. I love, don't get me wrong, I f***ing love low cars, but, you know, if you can get them to work, great, but like, I, I don't know, I'm not, I'm with the style in hard driving, not with the uh, track car, sheet time car, stance car, like that's that's not, you can categorize that in whatever way you want, but that's not how it is, like, yeah, <laughs> I don't know. Um, but That's yeah. it. Yep. Okay. Look at it. Give it an all around. I talk a lot. If you have That's any good. questions, uh, DM us on Instagram, and I could, you know, send you a quick video or something. Uh, I learned this trick from my dad a long time ago because we used to do a way dumber way of doing this. And if you have toe plates, just use your toe plates. If you have string, that works fine. So uh, if you have questions, just ask. Um, I hope that this makes sense. What? Like, comment, subscribe. Like, comment, subscribe, please, and buy merch, and buy it's in there. Alright, about five minutes. Steering wheel is almost dead straight. Like, it's perfect for, like, drift car, like, driving. Like, you're not really going to notice it. It's like a half an inch off. That. Not even a half, less than a half. Um, car drives straight. It feels fine, right? It's not Sweet. Oh. Yeah. We haven't heard this car not rub in like so freaking long. And now uh, it handles half decent and rides really smooth and nice and isn't annoying. Uh, okay. <laughs> well, that's, that's all it. for now. Hope that. Uh, something and that help or I don't know. Well I'll probably try and do more where I don't over explain it and we like have